Hi and welcome to Cyber News. Today we'll be addressing one of the largest issues since the SolarWinds attack, and that is proxy logon. The zero day attack for Microsoft Exchange that has resulted in over 100,000 private organizations having their email servers hacked. On the 9th of March, news emerged that Microsoft Exchange servers, all the way from versions 2013 to 2019, which are typically used by private organizations to manage and store their emails, calendars, and more, have been hit with a zero-day attack. The vulnerability was confirmed by Microsoft back on the 10th of December 2020, and issued the Security Advisory CVE 2021-26855. Microsoft Exchange servers are the holy grail for attackers due to their wealth of information. The last vulnerability discovered for Microsoft Exchange was over 16 years ago, and this was discovered by the Elusive Equation Group. Due to the severity of this exploit, it resulted in the President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, to make an announcement indicating the companies had mere hours, not days, to patch their system. This attack can be executed remotely and exploits a flaw within Microsoft Exchange Server, giving an attacker remote code execution on the server, and thus being able to extract all mail and attachments hosted on that server. When you consider an attacker could reveal every email a company has ever sent or received, it's apparent that the damages are immeasurable. But keep in mind, this is for customers who choose to manage their own email server, as opposed to using Office 365, which allows customers to use Microsoft managed infrastructure in the cloud. As far as we know, no Microsoft systems have been breached in this attack. As this attack is still relatively new, servers are still being exploited right now. And it appears that this exploit is actively being used by multiple other advanced persistent threats. So do we know who was behind it? Well, Microsoft believes that they've been able to track the attack back to the Hafenum group otherwise known as APT3. This group is rumored to have associations with the Chinese Communist Party, and if true, this would mean yet another alleged state-sponsored attack from China against a Western democracy. However, Microsoft has also launched an internal investigation believing that some element of this attack may have been an inside job. So do we know the attacker's motive? Well, not exactly, but it doesn't take a large stretch of the imagination to understand that having access to a company's entire emails would be extremely valuable, from anything including trade secrets, to information about pending court cases, patents, or even social matters. In addition, attackers have been leveraging ransomware, called DearCry, to cause a total denial of service or wiping an entire email service history. So what are the technical details? Well, this attack was carried out, as mentioned, by using a brand new zero-day attack for Microsoft Exchange. This leveraged a server-side request forgery vulnerability and has been given the name proxy logon. The exploit code is relatively simple, requiring no more than 25 lines of code to give the attacker complete access via command line to the target server. So Microsoft were already aware of this issue as it had been pointed out by a third party security researcher, DevCore of Taiwan, back in October 2020. Microsoft released a patch on the 3rd of March and later on the 15th to simplify the process. Now it's standard mitigation within Windows Defender. The patch was released just days before the wave of attacks started, once the exploit code made its way onto the public internet. Over the next coming weeks, we can expect to hear more speculation of the origin of the attack, as well as hearing the fallout from the companies who have been affected. While this is not as large as a SolarWinds attack, the impacts of this attack are still monumental and is in line with the growing severity of cyber attacks we've seen recently. But that's all we have for today's news highlight. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.